Hi guys! Good morning! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8! Yay! Sabi mo nga Vlogmas. Welcome to Vlogmas! <laughs> day 8! Welcome to Vlogmas! Day 8! Today is the first day of our staycation because for our anniversary, the plan is to staycation. Yes! So ano, three nights, two days. Uh -oh. Ang celebration namin nag start na yun last night. Because today is December 7. Yeah. And actually, yung kaapon, kung napanag niyo yung vlog yesterday, um, yung part na ng celebration ay mag grocery ng mga gusto namin. Uh -oh. Na hindi talaga namin siya nabibili. Dahil una. Or binibili. Uh -oh. By choice. Dahil una. Um, medyo pricey siya. Or yung mga gusto naming food. At saka yung mga, well, ako kasi simpleng tao lang ako, no? Yung mga gusto kong pagkain, 15 pesos. Pero, hindi naman siya binibili intentionally kasi, bakit ba? Unhealthy. Tipid is life. Oo, oh, tipid is saka life. Parang yung... Well, nakatipid is life naman din tayo kasi nag-PC tayo. Kasi, yung mga gusto namin, yung mga kaya mo namang mabuhay na wala yun. Mm. Kaya hindi namin siya binibili. Pero yesterday, binili namin ang mga kung ano-anong anik-anik. Ayan! Okay, bye-bye. Magluluto na kami ng breakfast. Nagsaig na ang baby ko kanina dahil magka-Friday sa siya. Guys, bibigyan ko kayo ng sample ng mga pagkain or inumin na gusto namin pero we can live without. Kaya di namin binibili. Okay? I show you. Ayan. Yogurt. Yakut, mga gatas gatas, soft drinks, fit and right. Yan ang laman ng ref, biscuit. Oh, di kami nagbibiscuit eh. Ito pa, oh. Chips ahoy, chocolate. Mga gusto mo lang pero kaya mo naman na wala. May ako survive ka rin. Breakfast number one. Breakfast number two. Thank you for cooking. Look at my plate. This is the perfect plate. Yeah. Yung Kasi halo. Kasi nag fake hotel. Yeah. Tapos ang breakfast ay 11.50. 11.50 <laughs> So yan may lunch na. Ang pinakamaganda lang sa ginawa namin ay walang oras ang breakfast. Sabi ko kasi kanina, ang sarap humiga at humiga lang, ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, oh nga, good idea talaga na nagbahay lang tayo. Kasi kung hotel, kailangan mo bumangan for breakfast. Eh ngayon, oh. 11.51 breakfast. Saan ka pa? No, ano, no, no pressure. Originally, binabalak man bumalik ng Baguio. Kasi doon kami ko nasal, diba? Tapos inisip namin kung sulit. Kung hindi ka magbe-breakfast buffet sa BCC, parang hindi sulit. <laughs> parang kasi isa yun sa kasama sa binabayaran mo, diba? Yung experience. I mean, masarap pa rin naman yung food, pero... Yung view. Oo. Yung pagiging chill ng umaga. I mean, nag-travel ka nga, pero may face mask ka, face shield ka. Parang wala din freedom. Konti na lang guys. Vaccine na yan. Mm -hmm. Napit na tayo mag... Back to nga wala. Random ano no? Trivia. <laughs> so lahat ng mga bacon lovers like me. So my favorite ko bacon. As in, favorite ko talaga bacon. Ako lang yung pinaka sumisira ng bacon kasi sinasawsaw ko siya sa ketchup. Yung mga kaibigan ko na like yan, si Raymond, favorite niya bacon. Pag sinasawsaw ko siya sa ketchup, as in parang nababatrip siya na. Hindi naman nababatrip, legit batrip, pero parang bakit mo sinisira yung lasa ng bacon? <laughs> Ay, masyap siya. Ako din ayaw ko, pero nung naging asawa ko siya, parang may times na ma-enjoy mo rin. Masarap naman. Masarap, masarap. Sobrang perfect bite sa akin yung 
ilalagay mo yung egg mo sa kanin tapos sahalo mo yung yellow tapos bacon sa ketchup mm. sarap yun na sabihin niya sa ketchup sa sasawa niya general time check 2.33 pinapakita ko lagi phone ko di naman nagpo-focus 2.33 at kami ay manonood lang I show you some of my favorite snacks. That salted egg potato chips, salted egg fish skin, M&Ms, apple juice for the bebe, and fit and right. Ma kaibigan, meron na pong Sharon yan dito po sa aking tabi. Ayan. Ilang beses nung pinalakpakan si Sharon. Paulit-ulit. Galing ni Sharon, ang galing ni Sharon. Time check. 7.42 p.m. Walang liguan, walang kain-kain. Upo po lang, no, dood. COD, COD. Staycation is life. Supposedly, ito yung lunch namin. Since nagtakaw nga kami kanina at almost 12 na nung nag-lunch kami kanina. Breakfast? Ay, nag-breakfast. Hindi na namin nakain. So, dinner na lang. Napag-usapan na namin to eh, nung nag-grocery kami. Sabi ko, dami natin binibiling pagkain, no? For sure, di natin makakain <laughs> Pero wala. Fun lang din naman mag-grocery, no? Nag-enjoy naman kami doon ng sobra. So, ngayon ay kakain na kami ng dinner. Sobra na. Sobra? Ano to? Hmm? Ito, garlic na. Classic Pinoy lemon butter. Tuba. May sausage pa ito? No. Ayun. Mm. Hotdog. Mm. Alat pala ng sausawan ko. Ang sobrang ako sa sot. Ito yun. Hello! Hello! Day, Day two. 2 ng ating journey to the manger plan. Yes, and the, the, today's topic is Jesus was God's promise. And I think nag-struck lang sa akin dito is the buong story naman. Pero yung last part din ay parang um, sobrang nag-struck sa akin na parang for all those who were still waiting for Him, Jesus came quietly and without fanfare. But on the day of His birth, the world changed profoundly. Nothing would ever be the same again. So since the day was, um, so since the day na, na pinanganak si Jesus, and the, that's the reason why, diba, what, what we're talking about, that's the reason why we're celebrating Christmas, yung pagpaanak, yung pinanganak si Jesus. And ang galing, ang galing lang na sinabi dito na nothing would ever be the same again when He came to um, you know to this world to be with the people before to be with the disciples and all so ano lang siya sa akin parang for me um, when I accepted Christ as my savior nothing would ever be the same again parang kumbaga everything changed and it's the same thing when he came here sa world natin everything changed in a good way of course so yeah and yung verse dito ay Isaiah 60 verse 1 Arise Jerusalem let your light shine for all to see for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you again for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you on us so yeah sinabi mo nga kanina dun sa devotional page natin na Everything has changed, and again. Yeah, nothing. Ano, nothing would ever be the same again. The, and the world changed, changed profoundly. profoundly. I think the change nayon is that we are no longer forsaken, and that is because Jesus was God's promise to us. Yeah. So yun, um, I guess it's very exciting to celebrate Christmas in this season where we are right now. Knowing that we have a faithful father, and that faithful father gave us a his son, 
to save us from our sins. And yeah, Merry Christmas! Picture natin. Tawag mo yung pang thumbnail naman na maayos.